Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to resolve the issue pink screen of death. So this is another problem. Some of the users are facing this issue. So how we can resolve this issue easily. So without wasting our time, let's start. Go to device manager first and graphic driver is the responsible for display. So we need to update our graphic driver. Open device manager. And look for display adopters. You can see here the option and right click on it and update driver. Search automatically for driver and make sure you are using the latest driver and this close this option. You can also update the monitor driver if you are using the monitor. So you can update the driver as well here. Okay. And close this option. So if this method is not working on your windows, in the last method, I will show you how to install the driver. Before that, we can apply some other methods as well. We can disable some of the third party software inside our windows, which are running inside our windows. So we can disable that. No harm to your computer. So window plus R button together, press it. And then type where MS config. Hit enter. Okay, go to services tab here and then click on hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. Now you can see I have disabled all the services already. So I'm getting the enable all actions. So you can disable those all the apps which are not the Microsoft app. So no harm to your computer. You can disable that and then click on apply and then OK and then restart your system. Restart your system if third party software are causing this issue. So your issue will be fixed. If not, then move to the other method. If you have installed any third party software and then after that you are facing the issue, you can uninstall that and reinstall that. Go to control panel. OK. You can simply press control on search bar and then look for programs and feature. Make sure you are choosing view by large icons. Okay. And uninstall the software which is causing the issue. Okay. Sometime a corrupted third party software can cause this issue. So you can simply uninstall the program. And if check the your issue is solved or not, delete all the files. In fourth method, we will repair our windows. This error may occur due to the corruption inside our windows. So go to search bar, then type as CMD. Right click on it and run as administrator. Click on yes option when the prompt opens. Type here SFC space slash scan now. SFC stands for system file checker, which will scan all the corruption inside our windows and repair those. Wait for a process to complete. After completing it, restart your system. Your issue will be fixed. If not, then this is the final and the last method you can try. You can also check the temperature of your CPU and GPU. Also make sure that you are using the latest windows. These are the additional. But in the fifth method, we will reinstall the graphic driver. For that, go to Google Chrome or any other browser. Okay. Double click on it. And type here system model number here. So how you can get the system model number. Press window plus R button together. Type for MS info 32. Once you press window plus R button and type MS info 32, you should see the system model number. So you need to enter the system model number on browser and then type display driver. Okay. So how you can do that? HP 
you can see I have already typed here the Bluetooth driver. So HP Convertible 362 Display Driver. Okay, Display Driver. This is the Display Driver. Go to official website. Don't go to any third party. Go to official website. You can see here HP support. Open two three tabs to get the right driver. Okay. We can also check the Intel one. Now we are in an official website of HP. Then choose your operating system here. Okay. Select the version 32 bit or 64 bit. Click on submit. Once you click on submit, it is automatically detecting the drivers. You can also use this method detect my driver. The HP will automatically detect your missing driver and repair those and install those. So you can also choose this one. This is the automatic process. In many systems, Intel, HP, Dell, you can choose this option. But we are going to manually download the driver. You can choose this method first. Then go to manual all drivers. Then you should see the display. You can see here the driver graphics. Expand the option. And Intel High Definition HD Graphics Driver. Click on this. Download. Okay. Choose this option. And if the first driver is not working, you can choose the another driver as well. Reinstall those. So we are going to download a setup. So first go to device manager to uninstall the present driver. Okay. And before uh, running this driver, you need to uninstall the present driver here. Right click on it and click on uninstall. Then click on delete the driver software for this device and uninstall it. Okay. Once you uninstall it, let this complete first it is downloaded now so go to download and run the setup this is the setup you can choose the date wise here double click on it here is click on yes option when the prompt opens click on next accept terms and condition next okay click on next after installation completed, click on restart your system. Your issue should be fixed. So hope your issue is fixed now. If so, hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.